Hello everybody and this is Miss Attribution and today's video is going to be about the pros and cons of homeschooling versus the public school. Um, so anyhow, I've been homeschooled ever since middle school and I'm like in the 12th grade. <laughs> so I should know a lot about this <laughs> and in my opinion I do. So we're going to start off with some of homeschooling. We're going to see the pros and cons of that and then we're going to go to public school. And depending if you're trying to choose between doing homeschooling or doing public school, I hope this video kind of helps you out in a, a little bit. So first off, homeschooling is a really, really great opportunity for kids who want to go and do more advanced things or like have, you know, more one-on-one -on -one time. So anyhow, I'll start at the very start of it. Being social. Now, for homeschooling, being social is kind of like how do I put it slightly? At homeschool, you don't have friends. It's just you, or maybe some of your siblings, and either your parent or tutor. And let's just be quite frank: you're not gonna want to be best friends with your family because. You see them every day, so you want to have that one person who's not related to you. So you have to usually go out and do some activities. This brings me to the second thing. So number two is like public school has clubs and activities. Sure, you can have those at home school, but it'd just be you and some of your family members if you had them in your club. You'd be the club leader. Say you wanted to do... I don't know, an anime club. You'd be the leader of it, but it, would it be just you or some of your little cousins or something in the club as well? So you could kind of go around and we meet new people and if they have the same interests in you and you want to be, you want them to be a part of your club, you can ask them and maybe they'll say yes, maybe they'll say no, depending on what your club is and what their interests are. Number three is like the pro of it. So, if you're not really good in school, especially around a public scene, homeschooling would be really good for you. Because when you're homeschooled, you get that one-on-one -on -one time, which will also help you grasp what you are learning a lot better. Because when I was in public school, I didn't get the one-on-one -on -one time I needed because I really just needed that. I never really fully grasped what I was being taught because my teacher had to go around and teach other kids what, what we were learning at that time. So if we were learning, let's say, decimals and I was having issues with it and I need more one-on-one -on -one time with her, I couldn't really get that. But when I'm homeschooled, I can get that and get that, like, I could learn how to do decimals really well. My strongest, <laughs> my strongest subject in math was fractions. I was really good at fractions. <laughs> People say that's hard, but it's, it's pretty easy. Same with trigonometry. I thought that was pretty easy, too. But back to the whole subject. So, public school, you have field trips. So, depending on your family's financial financials, like how much they have and how much they can spend for your field trips, you can either have them or not have them. For me, I don't really care about field trips. I've outgrown that. If I do a field trip, I'll just go to the, I'll just like look online and be like, what's, what is, what's free, let's see. There's a museum opening and everybody can go in for free. I guess I'll go see the museum if I'm interested enough. For me, since I'm homeschooled, I learn a lot. I learn about life. Things that they don't possibly teach you in public school. Well, when I was there, they never taught you about bills. How much you'd have, what to do in life, CPR and everything like that. And since I'm homeschooled, my mother can teach me those things. So she taught me about politics, debates, and everything like that. I thought it was really interesting because I never really fully knew anything about the outside world. Like what was I going to have to face since I'm in the 12th grade, I'm in my last year. I never knew that. 
but since I've been homeschooled from middle school up to high school, I know a whole bunch about that. So I could totally go out in the world, be fully confident in myself, know how to be fine, fine, like financially stable, know how to make good decisions, and especially when it comes to dating, I've learned some of that too. I've I never got to learn about STDs and stuff like that when I was in fifth grade. We had a sex ed class. But you'd have to get permission from your parents, and my mom didn't sign the paper, so I had to sit in the library, and then I learned about it. But I kind of knew what it was. I'm not stupid. Anyhow, so I never le learned about what STDs are. I heard it all the time, and then my mom taught me it in middle school, and I'm like, oh my god, I now know what this is. <laughs> so when you're in homeschool, you get better teachings. Your teacher depending on who they are and what they want to teach you, you will learn that and they will give you better one-on-one -on -one time. Now here comes the aspect of physical education. <laughs> and some of you are like, oh god, physical education? I had enough of this in public school. Well, when you're homeschooled, believe me, <laughs> you have to do it every day. So we have a set schedule, so when we wake up, We'll do our physical education early, right after breakfast, physical education. So we're already awake and physical education, and it's really, really, really good to do it early in the morning, especially when you're homeschooled, because it releases serotonin, which makes you really happy. So you ha be happy through the whole day while you're doing school, and you'll actually enjoy it when you're homeschooled. And some of the cons of being homeschooled is parents they'll know your grades and sometimes you'll have longer hours or shorter hours but you can finish homeschooling early in fact you can graduate pretty early too from homeschooling and go to college say you're 16 you want to graduate be like I I'm in ninth grade graduated off to college 10th grade off to college, 11th grade, off to college, 12th, <laughs> definitely off to college. But it all depends if you want to go to college or not. Most kids that are, are homeschooled, they probably end up, most of them end up going to college and they do really well versus the kids who were in public school. But now here comes the fun part, the pros and cons of public school. So we'll start off with the cons. Well, I guess this one's a pro and a con. It's like for the social aspect. You actually have friends, but you also have bullies. Homeschooling, you don't have any of those, but you can make friends and not have any bullies. Unless you know you're, you have a jerk sister or something. Then you will have a bully at school, apparently. But when you go to public school, you have to face the reality that you're going to have bullies. There's going to be rumors, gossip, friends. So, you get to be social, which keeps you separated from your family so you guys won't want to kill each other. And it depends on what kind of aspect you want. Do you want to be more intelligent? Do you want to have friends and that popularity? Or you, what do you want to do? Because for me, I wanted to get really good. So I went with homeschooling. But anyhow, back to the subject at hand. You have field trips. Some of them you have to get a permission slip for. You have to do something. Maybe give like $5 also to just go on the field trip so it pays for it as well. And your ticket in. And then there's also the clubs. You can actually join a club but you may or may not be the club leader of it. Or you may have started a club and... You have people coming to join your club. You have extra school activities. You have physical education where you go to the gym and the gym teacher tells you what to do, whether it's run the track or not. You have sports you can play with other people. Homeschooling, you don't really have sports you can play with other people. You have to have friends for that. Or you have to go somewhere like the YMCA or something that has people there who want to play sports and you can play sports with them. And some of the cons of public school is the one I was talking about earlier. You do not get as much one-on-one -on -one time as what you would get if you were homeschooled. Now again, not everybody's going to need that extra one-on-one -on -one time, but if you want to further your education and get further and do more advanced things, then I suggest you go to homeschooling 
Sure, they have those advanced classes in high school, so you can have those when you go to college and you don't have to do that class, or you can go to the next advanced class that they have. Anyhow, they also give you, there's also, you can do scholarships too for both. Sure, you can do one online, you can do one in person, or you can do, get straight A's and they give you a scholarship, or you play basketball and they give you a scholarship to a certain school because this school wants you and that one wants you and you sign a contract saying, I want to go to this school. And some of you are just saying, I don't want to go to college. That's cool. You can have a job at Burger King, Walmart. You could be an assistant for a lawyer. You could be a babysitter. You could be a whole bunch of things. None of those things are bad. They, if they pay money and it's something you want to do, then it's wonderful. That's, I'm great. I'm happy for you. You want to be a doctor, a lawyer. Then you go to college and you go do that. You do it for your term, like how many years you have to be there. And I'm pretty sure for doctors, you have to have four years. You go and practice what you want to practice. Like say, sorry, my hair's in my face. <laughs> say you want to be a surgeon and you go to this school for so many years, depending on which one you want to be, you go do that. And since you've been homeschooled or if you've been in public school, depending, you could cut that in half. If you've been in homeschool and you try and do as much homework as you can because you've already done all of this and you learned it and you have it maintained in your head, you can cut it in half and you can probably become a doctor early. Let's see, what else? Okay. They have special events at public school, such as like proms and everything. And since I'm homeschooled, I'd have to have a friend that actually goes to the high school to invite me. Or I could go to the high school if I know about it, and then I could go to the dance. Public school, you can go to the dance because you already know about it, and you can go. You just buy your tickets, get yourself a date, go to those events. Now for me, I obviously wanted to be homeschooled for many reasons. First of all, the school I was going to go to. I probably wouldn't have done too hot in because it's not one on one time and I needed that. And two, that school just had gangs in it. So, depending on what your parents feel or what you feel, if you research the school that you're going to go to, it really does help make the decision. Because if you want to go to a school with gangs, drugs, or whatever, that's cool. That's you. That's what the environment you want to be around. But I didn't want to, and my mother, especially since she's very protective and knows what's best for me, she didn't put me in that scenario, which was pretty good for me. I appreciate her, and I love her very much, and so you should always be thankful for your parents if they're looking out for you, and if you if you never wanted to be homeschooled, and if you are homeschooled, you hate it, then be appreciative because your parents probably did it because they wanted you to have a better life than what they had. They're looking out for you. So, treat them with respect, okay? Sure, you guys get into arguments and everything, but they're always going to be there for you. They're your parents. So, just make sure that you say, thank you, Mom, I love you, or thank you, Dad, or thank you, parents, or thank you, Grandma, whoever you're with, because not everybody has a mom and a dad. And some parents, they aren't as loving as other parents are to their kids. Some are very, very abusive, and so on and so forth. So be very appreciative to your parents if they're looking out for you. This has been Miss Retribution, and I hope you guys like this video. And comment down below which one you'd want to do, or which one you are doing. And tell me what kind of job you want. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.